We will discuss Q wave in this video. What's a Q wave? Q wave is the first negative deflection of the QRS complex. It should be before R in the QRS complex. A negative deflection after the R is an S wave. And what's QS? QS is when the R is absent and there are two negative that's known as QS. Here it is. This is a QRS and this is QS. No R in this. Q wave represents the septal depolarization and why is it negative because it moves away from the electrode the electricity is spread from right to left through the septum do we see q wave in all the leads no we see normally the q wave in the long lead one avf lead five and six it may also be seen in long lead 3 or V1 but it disappears on inspiration in a normal case but if it persists with inspiration then it's a abnormal one. So this Q wave is present in this group long lead 1 AVL 5 and 6 which lead do not have the Q wave normal just lead 2 and 3 do don't have normally Q wave in them. Presence of Q wave in the chest lead 2 and 3 is abnormal. How many types of Q wave we have? Q wave may be physiological or a pathological one. So a normal Q wave or physiological Q wave is shallow and is small, less than one box wide, that is less than 0.04 seconds or 40 milliseconds, or is less than one quarter of the height of R wave and is present in long lead 1, AVF, lead 5 and lead 6 present here. Long lead 1, AVL, 5. So what's a pathological Q wave? So pathological Q wave when it's more than one fourth of the R Wave, that is more than one box wide or more than 0.04 seconds or more than 0.1 millivolt if it's present in the chest leads two and three and it should be present in two contagious leads so what's two contagious leads should be present in long lead one or avl together in long lead two or long lead three and avf or maybe lead five and six so that's two leads together so this is a pathological so when do we have a pathological q wave usually we have it in myocardial infarction is it present in acute myocardial infarction the q wave develops about oh, six hours after the infarction starts and it may take few days to develop so it's in the early stages it may be absent so the absence of q wave does not exclude a myocardial infarction do all myocardial infarction have q wave no the STMI q wave is present only in those infarction where there is a complete obstruction of the blood vessel that gives a q wave but if there is an incomplete obstruction then it gives only a st depression or a t inversion so this is called STMI that has a q wave and non STMI they do not have a q wave even if it's a myocardial infarction so the q wave is present only transmural myocardial infarction that is complete obstruction of the blood vessel and is not present in non-transmural myocardial infarction where the complete obstruction is not present can we stop the development of q wave in myocardial infarction yes if the perfusion is done early before the tissue is dead and how do we do that that we do that by percutaneous uh, intervention or with the thrombolytic therapy which preserves the blood supply to the tissue by breaking the thrombus. What's the fate of the Q wave after myocardial infarction? When does it disappear? Pathologic Q wave persists permanently. It does not disappear. And why is it negative? The pathologic Q wave develops an scar tissue. And scar tissue is negative compared to the surrounding normal tissue. That's why it's negative. There is a Q wave developed after an inferior MI, long lead 2, 3, and AVF. It is contagiously 3 and AV and in the anterior wall MI it will be present in long lead 1 that's the elevation AVL see here AVL and lead 5 6 5 6 here and then at the course of time Q wave persists permanently the ST comes normal here everywhere AVL here wave that's persisting after similarly in the inferior wall mi just showed you the picture two three and avf wave with st elevation this is after more than a few hours right not immediately after myocardial infarction two, three and avf and when the infarction is resolved at the wave to recognize that if a Q wave is present, is it an acute myocardial infarction or it's not an acute one? The Q wave is present, see here, you can see, Q wave is present in both. Here, 
A it is ST elevation, but in C, ST is normal. This is in acute MI because the Q wave with ST elevation. Here the Q wave with normal. Clearly in these ones, the AVL there with ST elevation, acute in Q without ST. This is only present in transmural number one and is not present in non-transmural. And number two, if ST elevation is present along with Q wave, then it's an acute MI. If uh, only Q wave is present, then it's not an acute myocardial infarction. You can see these chest leads, they have big Q wave. Is it an acute myocardial infarction or a cold case, an old case? Here, these patients have Q wave with ST segment elevation. This is an acute one. If you see in these chest leads also, Q waves, the chest lead, and this is an acute case because it's a ST elevation also along with that. Q with ST elevation, acute infarction. So this is another ECG with acute MIC. This Q wave with ST segment elevation in lead 2. In lead 3, Q with ST elevation, VF ST elevation. So this is an acute MI. But and how about the Q here? By definition, Q is before the R, but here the downward deflection is after the R. So it's an S wave, not a Q wave.